So we are on the backend settings of integration with Zoho Books and Inventory plugin. And in this video, we are going to see how you can easily set up the plugin and connect your account and then how you can create feeds for your contacts, products and orders and how you can sync your data over Zoho Books and Inventory. So as soon as you have installed the plugin, so once you have clicked on Zoho Books and Inventory, so here it shows connect your account. So you need to click on this and then you can use global app and here you need to select the Zoho domain like uh, by which you have logged in with Zoho like I have logged in with this and here it shows uh, the domain as dot in so here we need to select dot in and if it is dot com so you can select uh, USA and others and China so we have given that option so according to that you need to select otherwise the syncing will not be there and next here you can choose the product like if you want to uh, connect your Zoho books like only you want to connect Zoho books or Zoho inventory or we have provided the options by which you can connect both. So let's select both and let us click on login and authorize. So here let me click on accept. So as you can see that uh, how easily authentication has been successful. So let us move to next step. So here you can easily create the feeds in just one click so let us click uh, so let me click on this so all the feeds have been created so let me move to next step so we have uh, successfully set up the integration with zoho books and inventory plugin so this is how you can easily set up the plugin so let us click on view dashboard so this is the backend settings of integration with zoho books and inventory here this is the dashboard where the admin can see how many contacts items and invoices have been synced and here this is the feed section like contact feed invoices feed items feed and this is the new feed that is item group feed that we have added so these are different types of feeds so basically with the help of these feeds uh, we can sync the data like if you want to sync the contacts over zoho books and inventory so with the help of this feed uh, and mapping the mapping the particular fields we can uh, sync all the contacts data similarly if you want to sync like invoices so for this this is invoices feed and for i for syncing the items so we have provided this items feed and this is the data sync tab where you can sync all the data so basically the functionality of bulk data sync is like uh, the bulk data will bulk data sync will sync all the woocommerce objects uh, of the site to zoho books and inventory in one click and one click sync means like once you have performed bulk data sync and if any new data or failed Woo failed woocommerce data is there so with the help of one click sync that particular newly or failed data will go to zoho books and inventory in place of uh, syncing all the data with the bulk so this is how one click sync and bulk data sync works next is log section so this is the log section so here the admin can easily see like uh, whatever the feeds that have been synced so it will be shown here in this log section and in this settings various options are given like instant sync or background sync so with the help of instant sync the admin can easily sync the data instantly and background sync that means in every five minutes whatever the data is there so that will be synced every five minutes uh, every five minutes so you can uh, enable either instant sync or background syncs so many more features are there so we will, so we will be discussing so let me sync uh, any of the data like let me click on data sync and let me perform bulk data sync So the process has been completed so let me go to log section so as you can see that for the items feed like all the data have been synced to zoho inventory so let us click on this so as you can see that three products were there so for each books and inventory it has been created so let me click on this So this was the product that have been synced to inventory also and if you want to check for like books so from here you can check this. So as you can see that this is how uh, this functionality of bulk data sync works. And now 
one click sync uh, one click sync means like if i have created any uh, one more product so if i want if i want to sync only that product so i will perform one click sync and that newly created product will be uh, synced over zoho books and inventory so this is how this functionality works uh, for bulk data sync and one click sync so this is how data syncing is done and if you want to watch the complete video on how to uh, like how to create the feeds and how the feeds work and how the mapping is done so you can click on this video to watch the video so that you can understand how you can map the fields in the feed section so you can watch the video and understand in detail and in this video we are going to see what are the newly added features are there so basically firstly i was giving you the overview like how the data sync works and how the setup is being done and rest of the video like in the feed section and so how the feeds work so you can uh, click on this video to watch the to watch the setup uh, to watch the setup video of feeds like how the mapping will be done and how to add new field so from there you can understand that so in this video we are going to see the newly added features so in this video we are going to see what are the newly added features so for this let us go to setting section and here uh, these are the new features that have been added like order status sync from woocommerce create adjustment when order placed synchronize product stocks tag sync on zoho and shipping sync on zoho so firstly let us enable instant sync so that will enable uh, whatever the data uh, that where that is there so that will be synced instantly and firstly let me explain you like order status sync from woocommerce so firstly uh, you have to enable this and let me click on save changes let me go to feed section and here let me go to invoices and here in this uh, you will find this map who order status field and here we have provided these different status so these are the order status of woocommerce and these are for the inventory so these are the uh, order status of zoho so here it provides three status like draft sent and void so basically draft and sent can be interchanged but if the uh, if the order status is set to void so after that it cannot be changed like here let me save uh, for pending payment i have set draft and for processing and on hold it is draft and completed it is sent and cancel it is sent and refunded it is sent and failed it is void and draft it is void and for refunded let me select also void so this is how you have to map the wo order status accordingly so once you have done this you have to click on update and let us place any order so we are on the shop page and this is the product so let me add this and let me view the cart and let us place the order order has been placed so let us go to back end so this is the order and here this is the invoice feed so let me click on this so basically as you can see that the status shows as draft so let me change the order status uh, because this was on hold and we have selected the order status as draft so let me put it to completed and let me click on update and here let me refresh this so as you can see that the order status has been changed to sent but uh, the status is sent on completed uh, from changing to draft to sent and now when i will uh, set it to like uh, refunded so it must be changed to void so let me click on update so as you can see that as soon as i have changed the order so it has changed to void so now so now if i want to change the order status from here to like cancelled or completed or pending so it cannot be done and it will not be updated on this zoho because it has been finally reached to void and it cannot be changed and now the order status cannot be changed so this is how this functionality works now let us again go back to this zoho books and inventory backend and let us go to this settings so this is how uh, you can uh, sync the order status from wo commerce to zoho books and inventory now if you want to create adjustment when the order is placed so if you want to create the adjustment for the order stock so from here you can enable this and you can enable this uh, synchronize product stock in wo commerce so as soon as you have enabled this so you can also enable to update the product from the available stock so that means uh, if you have enabled this functionality so automatically from the available stock quantity 
so automatically the updates will be uh, so the product stock quantity will be updated from the available stock field on zoho so let me explain you how this will work so let me click on save changes and here this is the uh, product and let me go to items this is uh, this is this and here as you can see that the opening stock is one and ever and the stock on hand is one so uh, let me change it uh, let me change it uh, here like let me go here so this is the denim t-shirt blue so let me go to product section and here uh, when i will click on edit and here and here the opening is uh, opening stock is uh, one so let me change it to 80 and now let me click on save so as you can see that as soon as i have updated the stock on uh, this zoho so automatically over uh, this woocommerce the stock has been updated to 80 and now let me place uh, this order again so this is the product so let me add this to cart So I have added uh, this denim t-shirt blue to cart and let me place the order for this. Order has been done and now when I will refresh this uh, here. So as you can see that the stock on hand is 79. So this is because so as you can see that automatically uh, one has been deducted and when I will go to inventory adjustment. So as you can see that uh, one adjustment is created here. So let me click on this. So as you can see that this was the product that I have placed uh, place uh, place the order just now and for this product particular order the adjustment has been created so basically with the help of inventory adjustment the admin can easily get the idea of the quantity like which product uh, quantity stock has been adjusted like here you can see that this was the product so this was the product denim t-shirt and the quantity adjusted is minus one so basically the adjustment is something to reduce or increase the stock by a process of creating adjustments so this is how this functionality of synchronized product stock in woocommerce and how to auto and how to update product stock from the available stock and how to create adjustment when the order is placed so this is how this functionality works now let us move to next fields that is tag sync on zoho shipping sync on zoho discount sync on zoho that means uh, we have also provided the uh, we have also provided the functionality by which the admin can easily create uh, taxes and then sync over zoho books and inventory likewise he can also do for shipping and discount so once you have enabled all these uh, fields so you need to click on save changes and while uh, and while the admin has enabled this functionality discount sync on zoho so he need to go to zoho settings and preferences and here you can click on general and here you can see like the discount uh, discount has been enabled so firstly you need to enable that and for shipping and tax you need to enable this like uh, when i will go to woocommerce settings so here i have already enabled tax uh, like here you can see that enable taxes and i've also set the tax rate and here i have also enabled the tax rate like 10% that is this and i have given this name as sales a and i have also enabled shipping and i have applied flat rate like as you can see that here so this is how you can enable this so all configurations once you have done then let us go to shop page so we are on the shop page and i have uh, added one one of the product that i have created and i have entered all the billing details so let us click on place order so the order has been received so from the back end let us uh, change the status to processing so this was the order so let me change it to processing and click on apply and now let us go to backend and here uh, make sure you have enabled the instant sync so basically instant sync means that the admin can easily enable instant sync to sync the data in real time so let us go to logs so as you can see that uh, here the invoices feed uh, has been synced for books and inventory here as you can see that and when i will go here like let me click on this so here as you can see that the tax rate has been uh, the tax rate has been uh, synced and also the shipping uh, uh, and also the shipping rate that is that was flat rate that was 10 so here it has been synced over 
Zoho. So this is how this functionality works. And for the discount thing, so let me place, uh, let me uh, place the order again. So this is the product, and I am applying the coupon. So the coupon code has also been applied. And let me proceed to check out and place the order. And here, let me change the status. And now let me go to backend. So here, uh, let me click on this. So as you can see that the discount, the sales. Uh, the tax rate that means uh, that is same that we have given the name as sales a and here you can see that the shipping that was 10 so here as you can see that all the data has been synced successfully so this is how this functionality works and here as you can see that in this uh, log section all the uh, all the related fields have been synced along with the zoho books inventory object id so that means our syncing uh, our syncing has been done successfully and no error has been there so this is how the functionality of tag sync and shipping sync and discount sync work on this plugin so this was all about the integration with zoho books and inventory plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel until the next video stay connected with us thank you